Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Cordant and we are continuing our playthrough of Icewind Dale 2 with the Enhanced Edition. We are, I think, done with this area, which I'm guessing is the outer area to the Goblin Fortress. And right at the end of the last episode, we had a bit of a skirmish here in this gate where I thought we were just gonna face like a stupid goblin, <laughs> but apparently it was a very powerful ogre with some troll friends. We nearly lost Corgan, we nearly lost Patricia, but thankfully that was not the case. But yeah, you can, you can never underestimate enemies in this game, I'm learning. Uh, and I believe these are the goblin warrens, because the key we had... Okay, I guess the key got used once we opened up the gate. It said key to the goblin wardens. So let's see what's inside. I'm expecting goblins. <laughs> Ooh, lovely sound, isn't it? Okay. Uh, we have a way down, we have a way up. Me hungry, so... Okay, I think these are goblins by the look of it. So, I think it's time for Double O Janssen to go on scouting duty. No kill Pondmuk, Pondmuk good. Enemy sighted. I guess these are sleeping goblins? Okay, there's a lot of people here. So this is Mokrul. And the goblin shaman. A lot of sleeping goblins and just, you know, generic goblins. Okay, this looks like a, a numerous fight, but not that dangerous. Although we do have two goblin shamans and you always need to fear spellcasters in games like this. And I certainly do. <laughs> So I'll need to pay attention to to the casters. Okay, this is apparently not a way uh, to move. And here we have orcs with three priests and some doggies. Are doggies friends? Oh my god, did they kill the dogs? This poor hound looks to have been dead only a short period of time. It is partially cooked, eh, partially raw and mostly eaten. Unfortunately, it is completely beyond recovery. God damn it, you stupid animals, man. Never be mean to doggies. Doggies are the best people in the world. Doggies deserve nothing but love. Oof, this is a dangerous room. <laughs> Three shamans. <laughs> what is this? Oh, these are sleeping wards, okay. They look like some kind of insect, but <laughs> they are just lying down. I don't know any dogs that sleep like this, but... You know. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Hmm. Oh, it's not trapped. Cool. Did I mess something? Oh god. Did I do something silly? Or are the spiders gonna fight the... The goblins and the orcs and all that? Ooh. Okay. <laughs> I guess I was successful. Oh, but these are woolly spiders, not sword spiders. Man, if they could kill some of these shamans, I would be very happy. I don't think they will be able to though, yeah. They're just gonna die. Kill that one, kill that one! Come on! Oh. Oh, there's still one up. No longer. <laughs> okay, so three spiders have been killed. Not much was accomplished, sadly. Well, I guess we cleared three spider enemies from us. 
This looks to be the place where they threw their prisoners or traitors or something. I don't know what this is, but there is loot over there. There are some more. Oh, this one looks different. Wooly Spider Queen. Yeah, so they, they eat goblins. What else do we have here? Is this like an alternate way to traverse the warrens? Oh god. Hardened fire trolls. I don't think I've ever seen fire trolls. And they are over here killing spooders. A war drum here. Okay. Vunar. This guy is actually friendly. Okay, so there may be something to do in these wardens besides just killing... Wait, can you see me? Ikog. Ah, do come in, fine adventurers. A demon? He's not a demon. <coughs> I think it's a troll. Who or what are you? My name is Ikog. To answer the first part of your question. What I am is a Bargast whelp. And do not look upon me and make rash judgments, adventurer. Believe me when I say you look exceptionally foul to mine eyes as I probably do to yours. Fair enough. Uh, what would you have of me, Equog? What would I have of you, you ask? An interesting choice of words. Under normal circumstances, I would have you for one of my meals. Man, I wish Cordant was the one speaking here. So I take it that these are not your normal circumstances? Yes, I must say you have a gift for observing the obvious. But enough of this idle banter. I have a task for you. Are you interested? That depends. What is the task? And more importantly, what's in it for me? Why is it that you adventurers are always wondering what's in it for you? Couldn't you, just this once, perform a task without asking how it benefits you? No. <laughs> Fine. I'll tell you how it benefits you, but only after I explain what it is I want you to do. As of this moment, a wretched little decanter goblin, who goes by the name Kruntur, is withholding a very important message for me, written by my masters. If I fail to carry out what is on that message, I will invoke the wrath of my masters. A wrath even a creature such as myself would be terrified to endure. Go on. Personally, I don't care how you go about retrieving my message. However, my masters would prefer that the, that the decanter goblins, in particular Kruntur, stay alive long enough to carry out their missions. Mm. So, if you could get back that message without, without killing Kruntur, it would be most appreciative. I would be most appreciative. Tell me why he is withholding your message. Well, uh, it's rather silly, really. As I said, I'm a Bargast Whelp. Normally, Bargast Whelps come to this plane to consume strong, virile beings to absorb their life force, which, in turn, makes us stronger. I'm listening. However, my master summoned me to this plane just before I was old enough to make the journey on my own. Because of this fact, I am not yet mature enough to do anything other than obey my masters. I have been ordered about and used during this whole campaign, but I will not protest for fear of what would happen to me. Get to the point, please? Uh, right. Well, it's no secret that I have a voracious appetite, and quite frankly, dog and cattle meat was just not enough. So, one day while I was wandering through the Upper Goblin Warrens, I came across Kruntur's younger brother, Kronbar. He was a strong decanter goblin, but not as strong as Kruntur. I think I see where this is going, continue. Since no one was looking, and I was so very hungry for a being with some substance, I ate him. It's not like the brothers were very fond of each other. Besides, I was due for a reward after helping the masters create the half goblins. Ah, you created them? Blast it! See what hunger does to me? Say no more about it. Just do this task for me and I will give you a fine magical item that I took off a less agreeable adventurer. I, I, 
I'm curious, so I will not forget that last part. What part did you have with the creation of those half goblins? And do not try my patience, fleshy mortal. I told you that I wish to say no more on the matter. If you choose to help me, then you will be rewarded. If you choose not to help me, then you should make a fine meal. What will it be? Okay, well, threats are not necessary. I will help you. Where is this Kruntur? And my plan, honestly, is to help him and then kill him. A wise choice. You will find Kruntur on the next level, through the passage northeast of here. Northeast? On that level, you will find this camp on the west side. However, I currently have both entrances to his camp located with my minions. You will need the password Xvim um, <laughs> to pass. That is all I need. I shall return with your message. <clears throat> so, on the camp northeast of here. <clears throat> okay, it's this guy. He looks like a troll. There is also what looks to be like an innocent goblin over here. This is Vunarg. Ah, okay, I'm guessing that this is the, the camp they're talking about. Door guard. Maybe I need to give him the password to prevent him from blowing up the wardrobe. Orok chief. Okay. Is this the camp he was talking about, northeast of here? More Orogs. Well, they're not friendly. Uh... Okay, well, let me just keep scouting and then we'll see what we can do. Okay, the area is kind of mazy. But that should be fine. And I, I think my plan is to um, is to actually come over here with my party, not invisible, to see if we can give him the password and he will open the door. I'm not sure how that's going to play out. Okay. This guy is apparently friendly. I'm not going to speak to him, otherwise I will lose my invisibility. And apparently the other guy can see through invis. Okay, so <clears throat> we are going to check out this upper area before coming over here and killing the, the goblins. I'm not sure if it makes much of a difference, but let's just see. They do like growling. <laughs> okay, so if I come over here and I open the door, are you gonna go hostile? Ah, ah okay. What's the password? Human swine! <laughs> Wait, I, I know the password. I don't know. Wrong. Thanks. Uh... Does Jan Janssen know? Dude, I was... Is this not the door he's talking about? The password is Zvim or whatever. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm not sure what happened here. Maybe this is not the... But I mean, he's asking for a password, right? So this this should work. I'm I'm kind of wondering if it's because I was invisible and something bugged out or something. <laughs> I do not know. Well, time to kill some goblins. Come here, goblin filth. Where are the shamans? That's what I'm concerned about. Okay, there's... <clears throat> one shaman... Two shaman... Oh, this is a sorcerer, not a shaman. So... 
the sorcerer is shielded, so he is immune to magic missiles, and he also has a mirror image. <clears throat> the other one has a minor elemental barrier, so fire and stuff shouldn't hurt him. Corgan is already taking fire damage from goblin archers, which sucks. Yeah. So let's see if we can get these goblins to sleep. Probably in this area here. And then make our way into the shamans. Ready. Is that all? Or actually, maybe you go for the shaman. It shouldn't be up to yes. And I will also go for the shaman. Your desire. Let's see if we can get <clears throat> this guy to be held. Yes. And let's see if we can get this guy to be held. That would be useful. Okay, he did not appear to be held. This guy... Oh, they cast horror. Okay, but we saved. Your request. Okay, let's see how this goes. This guy <coughs> also not held, of course. What's your pleasure? So I want you guys to go for that shaman. Corgan is kind of having fun right here. <laughs> ah, poor guy. <clears throat> Let's cast... I want to cast a darkness here. Or, honestly, just another sleep might be enough. <clears throat> okay, sleep here. You go for the sorcerer. You nuke this one. We have a lot of people sleeping. Go for the shaman as well, he's near death. Dead, okay. <laughs> Setinhas, go for the sorcerer. And you are killing these people. So, <clears throat> I'm actually gonna try power attack. Woo! Plus five, why not? Because since they are lying down sleeping, I think this is a guaranteed hit. Is that all? Let's find out. Uh, so you are going for the sorcerer, correct? Yeah, so 21 bludgeoning damage, death. Ow! You bitch! Let's cast a shield. Casts chromatic orb, I think he's aiming for Vicky. Okay, he no longer has mirror images. Companion. I keep getting smacked, apparently. Okay, good. That guy is dead. Start killing the archers, please. I think Jan was also kind of just... Standing around, doing nothing. Okay. Just cleaning up. Go back to sleep, friends. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> let's let's see if we can test this out. I want, god damn it, Setinish. I want to see if Cleave does anything. Of course, he didn't die. I think it worked. What? Not entirely sure. Okay, let's go for two. My two hit chance has... Oh, it has plus 15, so I think I'm safe doing this. Okay. Your wishes. Yeah, sleep, sleep is really the best choice for <clears throat> dealing with goblins. No doubt. Okay. We did use up some of our spells, but nothing all that serious. Okay. A lot of loot to pick up. God, the loot does take a while, doesn't it? I'm sorry. <laughs> but I need to go one by one, what can I do? 
Okay, fire arrows are useful. Masterwork arrows are useful. I'm gonna put Jan on um, scouting duty to see if anything's trapped. This area appears to be safe. 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 And safe, it seems. Okay, cool. Absolutely. Ooh. I'm liking this. Oh, I am liking this. <laughs> Lots of fire arrows. Oh, no cool items here. Okay. If there is a shortcut for me to pick up stuff, please let me know. <laughs> okay, what did we pick up? Skull trap. Uh, I think actually Jan can use uh, necromancy. Vampiric touch, lovely as well. Fireball, sadly we already have it. Let's just... Whoops, not that. Sort some inventory. So now what we have here? We have plus one bolts. Impact arrows. What does this do? Ooh. Plus 1d6 bludgeoning damage. Okay, I like it. We have our typical fire arrows. They go over there. Masterwork arrows. Normal arrows. Okay. Let's continue picking up stuff. And I am enjoying this game <clears throat> quite a bit. It's it's a lot different from, from the previous ones. I really do wish there was, um, <clears throat> you know, improvements to the UI such that I could actually zoom in. More different arrows, cool. Well, we are stocking up on ranged ammunition. Uh, are these masterwork? They are. Okay, no. Actually, I can take them. And this bottom area, I think I have everything. Actually, I didn't. Okay. All right. Looting has been done. We have sparking bolts, which deal electrical damage, and they deal 1d8 damage. Arrows plus one. Okay, so this is for setting ish. Normal bolts, I'm just gonna equip. Uh, I'm gonna store these potions because there's a lot of stuff on my inventory right now. These are darts, correct? Yeah. Darts, I don't care. I am going to store the special ammunition except the fire arrows and the masterwork ones. Okay. This area is sorted. Let's go for the next one. Do I still have a sleep? I don't have sleep anymore. <clears throat> I think I might try using a haste. And then we're probably going to rest. Because I, I do need my sleeps to, to work through this. So this area contains three priests. Which I, I hate. Oh, they're witches, which is even worse. One shaman, two witches. And then the rest is just regular orcs. Okay. Uh, let's see if I can do some pre-buffing here. So this lasts for one minute per level, so I'm definitely going to use that. Exaltation, I've never had the need for it. I'm listening. Yeah, I don't. Ha I don't really have a lot in terms of pre-buffing. I guess I could cast, remove fear. Oh, it only lasts for ten rounds as well. Ugh. Okay, we're gonna see. 
And I'm gonna try and remember to use this. Okay, so oh, yeah. wait until he gets over here. What? And then we're gonna bless and also probably gonna haste. So bless. I'm here. And haste. Excuse me. Oh. This only works on one creature? What? No. Come on, man. Oh. <laughs> the Baldur's Gate version is so much better. <laughs> God damn it. <clears throat> well, I, I'm i still going to try it. I'm going to give it to Corgan. And by the way, Corgan has 16 decks. And his armor lets him have only plus four. Okay. You can only have a six dex bonus, and you already have a six dex bonus. Okay. So I'm actually gonna give Eagle Splendor to Cordumt. We have been blessed. And I'm gonna haste Corgan, yeah. Come on. Thank you. Let's fight. Go, Corgan. Go, Corgan. Go, Corgan. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna bring him right into the middle of this pack. I just forgot that I did not have any sleeps. I do have Fireball and Darkness, however. Okay, let's see how this goes. Uh, all of you can focus on this guy as well. Corgan's right in the middle of all that. Uh, <coughs> so first of all, I am going to try and remove magic on these guys. So we can make the fight a little bit easier. I don't really have a lot I can do with Corden. I, I really need some AoE skills. The witches have strength of one, protection from missiles and mirror images, which sucks. Uh, so I guess I'll point at the shaman. No, this is Corgan. <laughs> shaman. Yeah, it's it's hard to see. <laughs> and Jan Janssen, um, I think I'm gonna go for darkness because I think it's better to try and disable them than just all out nuke them right now. <clears throat> I am going to wait for the remove magic, however. Oh, he got slowed already? Where are you going, dude? Okay, so remove magic has gone out. They have been dispelled. So we can now blind them. You two ladies can go into the fight. What would you like? Actually, you can use this skill. I always forget this skill. I await your uh, what else do I want? This only works outside. Let's cast a Bane. Okay. I think Vicky has cast her thing. It's not easy to tell. Okay, go over there. You shoot this one. He's casting fireball? Oh god. Wait, actually I have a fireball of my own. What am I doing? <laughs> uh, so I, I have safe spell, they don't, so I win this exchange. Okay, uh, this guy is badly wounded. He's dead. Okay, this work. Wait, I'm missing some. Oh, she's she's held by the web. Viconia, why do you do this to me? We leveled up. Oh, Corgan should be should be right about to level up, right? 
Well, at least the haste counters the slow. No more. <laughs> uh, what is it? Uh, yeah, he's, he's, really, he's really close to leveling up. Okay, so. We're gonna have Mr. Jan Janssen, as usual. <clears throat> on scouting duty. This does not appear to be trapped. Ooh. A magical flail and what looks to be a returning dagger. Yes. Returning frost dart. Oh, not dagger, dart. So it's a simple weapon. It counts... Uh, oh, uh, returns the user and it also deals cold damage. <clears throat> okay. This is a cool weapon to have. Especially if I want to damage somebody through a, a stone skin or something. Ooh, a plus two? God damn. The flail is a... Uh, <clears throat> okay, so it's it's simply a plus two weapon. Well, not simply. Being a plus two is very nice. I don't have anybody specialized in flails, however, which makes me very sad. I guess Setinhas can have it. Right, because we already have different stuff. Corgan is really the only one suffering at this point. <laughs> because his hammer is very sucky. And this is a mace. Yeah, I, I really need a good hammer. Okay, so... Don't these stack, by the way? They don't stack. <clears throat> so, Setinhas, you are going to be the proud owner of a flail. Which you can use, right? Flail. Okay, you can. Doo -doo -doo. Okay. I'm here with these. So this was looted, except these, which are masterwork bolts. I am definitely gonna take those. Masterwork arrows. You shouldn't be the one picking stuff up. It should be me. I have avenged you, doggies. I'm sorry for what has befallen you. Okay, I think we're safe. It's actually funny that this guy didn't care about his friends and just fireballed the entire area. <coughs> I mean, it works for me, but <laughs> it's a bit weird. Okay, so we are going to level up Patricia. I'm just going to drink some coffee. Ah, mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm thinking if I should give her a fighter level, honestly. Although, no, because I want her, I want her spells as quickly as possible. I just want to make sure, is she proficient with heavy armor? Three. I think she is. Okay. <laughs> Most powerful vanquished opponent, a war drum. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay. Um, oh, and I forgot to level her up, of course. Cleric level six. I think this gives her new spells. Or not. I, I, I always get confused. Concentration and Spellcraft. Okay, a new feat. What do I want? Concentration checks. And also bonus against feints, grapples and knockdown and trips. This, is actu this actually sounds really nice because I, I have it in the front. So, Discipline. Okay. Grapple is something I'm not going to be using, I don't think. At least not on her. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, this sucks. <laughs> Lightning reflexes. She already has the points in, in um, Axe. I could give her a power attack so she could also have Cleave. But I'm not sure if I need that, honestly. Spell focus could be interesting. Uh, which kind of spell, I don't know yet. I think I'm going to leave that for later. 
Extend spell, quicken spell, save spell. Shield focus is also not bad. You, you gain plus 2 AC while using a shield. <clears throat> I think I'm actually going to go for this. To make her more, more tanky. Because she currently takes a lot of damage, honestly. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, let's go for shield focus. Why not? Do you have new spells? Please say yes. Oh, she doesn't. Um, I'm seriously considering taking another remove magic. This is one of the spells I use the most in Baldur's Gate. But in there, this is an arcane spell, not uh, a divine spell. Protection from fire could be cool. But again, it only lasts three rounds per level. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna go for another remove magic here. It's useful, there's really no point in not taking it. I forgot to see how this worked out. No new spells here, no new spells there. Okay. My turn. Level up. Sorcerer. <clears throat> I think we're gonna get level 3 spells. And what would I want? Maybe spell focus. Which spell focus though is the question, right? Necromancy is a nice spell focus to have, I believe, but divination does nothing. So maybe evocation and conjuration. Hmm. I could always just take more spell penetration. Because other than that, I just have extend spells and stuff like that, which I, I'm not really used to using. Empower spell increases its damage, healing, and most stat bonuses on the last spell you cast. Widen. Increases the area of effect. Okay. Well, uh, I think I'm simply going to go for more spell penetration while I don't really know what to choose here. I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so now for the really complicated part. Oh, he, he also has remove magic. Okay. So we have slow. And slow is actually an AoE effect, unlike haste, which is just a single creature. A creature affected by slow loses an attack every round, but will not drop below one. <clears throat> loses AC. A successful will save prevents the effect. Okay. This is a transmutation spell. We also have Fireball, we have... Oh, this is new. Through this spell, the caster is able to enter a state where she is constantly phasing between the material and ethereal planes. While in this state, attacks made against the caster are 50% likely to fail. Ah! Oh, but the caster's attacks also suffer. Eh, this sucks. Animate Zombie, Animate Skeleton, <coughs> Flame Arrow, Ghost Armor, Hold Person, Ice Lands. Invisibility Sphere. This spell causes all creatures within 10 feet of the caster to vanish. This is a very useful spell. Extremely useful. Uh, but not something I'm going to pick on a sorcerer. Lance of Disruption. Also a pretty powerful spell. But this hits in a straight line. <clears throat> which can be a little bit weird. Melf's Minute Meteors, one of my favorite spells in Baldur's Gate. And, it <laughs> and it's actually quite broken in here. And it deals 1d4 plus 6 points of fire damage. But this... Oh, this creates 15. It's not based on level. Ah. Okay, that, <laughs> that could be interesting. Skull Trap. I like Skull Trap. 
explodes. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is necromancy. I, I do like slow quite a bit. Stinking cloud is... I thought this was conjuration. Any living creature caught within the cloud must roll a successful fortitude save or become nauseated, making them unable to attack, cast spells, concentrate on spells, and so on. Yeah. <clears throat> Necromancy is starting to look appealing. Summon monster, vampiric touch, protect from cold, remove magic, throw. <clears throat> Moment of prescience. What? 1,000 feet? The recipient of this spell momentarily gains the ability to see into the future and can see any attack or spell coming. The target gains a 25 bonus to attack, AC and saving throws for, oh, for one round. Okay. <laughs> okay, and this is interesting. Enlarged creature. One round per level. Cause the target temporarily grow twice as large in each dimension. The target gains a 8... Oh. 8 strength and constitution. Oh my lord. Okay, penalty to dexterity and AC. And attack rolls. I mean... You still get an additional 8 strength. They cannot benefit from invisibility, blur or mirror image. Okay. Fly and project image. Project image level 3. Create an illusory duplicate of the caster. For the duration, the caster controls this image with inside of their body, can see through its eyes, and can command it to attack or cast spells. Spells cast this way. E ah, okay. They use up the caster's spell slots. Importantly, any damage the image takes will not harm the caster while when the spell is over, and any status ailments inflicted on the image will not affect the caster. Thus, this spell can be used to send the image into risky situations that would be unwise to send the actual character into. While the project image is active, the character record skin and HP bar record the stats of the image rather than the caster. When the image takes damage or is killed, the HP bar will go down, but the caster will be fine afterwards as long as their body didn't take damage. The spell ends early. If the image is destroyed, it starts with the same HP as the caster. If it's dispelled, if the caster is killed, or if the party moves to another area. If the caster is killed, scares me quite a bit. Because we control the image instead of the body. Which means somebody can kill me, <laughs> but leave the image alive and I'm defenseless. I don't know. Okay, so the spells I want from level 3 are actually quite a bit. <clears throat> or quite a few, I'm sorry. I want, or I would like to have, remove magic, slow, melts minute meteors, those three are guaranteed that I want, and then probably stinking cloud and skull trap. If I could have a way to make my people immune to this, it would be awesome. But this has a plus two. Eh. Okay, I'm going to start with slow, I believe, because I, I do like the effect of this. And we'll work on other stuff from there. Okay, so Hi. apologies for the time taken Hi. at the end of this episode to choose some spells. But this is quite important, especially when playing a sorcerer. And even more important for someone playing the game for the first time, which is my case. <laughs> so maybe I'm making some mistakes with the spell choices, but I'm just willing to take that risk and, and figure out how well they perform as we go along the game. Okay, so... Oh, actually, wait. A spellcaster should have their prime casting ability score equal to 10 plus the highest spell level they want to cast. For example, clerics need a 15 wisdom to cast 5th level cleric spells. Ah. Okay. Okay, th then we, we have no problems. Okay. Uh, as I was saying, 
Uh, this is going to be the end for this episode. We still have a lot of this uh, Goblin Wardens to explore. And there's this guy I want to speak to, which is apparently friendly. I'm also going to have to rest to get our new spells and also get some HP back. Maybe I will do it after Corgan levels up. I'll still have to decide on that. Um, but yeah, so that's it for now. As always, guys, thank you so much for being here in the channel, watching some Icewind Dale 2 with me. Any questions, suggestions, anything at all, leave a comment. If you want to get notified about videos coming to the channel, feel free to subscribe. They are coming out daily. And I hope to see you all in the next episode. Until then, stay safe, everyone.